Well, hey, hey there, folks. It's Jimmy Stewart here, hoping this is finding you all doing well. <laughs> In today's video, folks, another surprise. Um, I was often, honestly very surprised by this. Uh, just a couple of days ago, uh, Torsten from Tease Guitars contacted me and said, Jimmy, the... Uh, the SBH that we sent you a couple of months ago, how, how are you liking that? Uh, would you be interested in checking out our standard tele version of the SB series? And I went, Torsten, another tease? Yes, please. And overnight, I got the guitar. He sent it to me uh, to check out and review here on the channel. And of course, we will get to that very, very quickly because you see it's an empty guitar stand we all know what that means. Come on, folks. Sing it with me, folks. It is... New Guitar Day. Yes. New Guitar Day here in the studio. This courtesy of Tease Guitars. So let's go in quickly to the B-roll when it arrived yesterday. Arrived last night. Uh, and, of course, I did the unboxing, and I let it set overnight for today's review. Let's check out the B-roll. Oh, boy, oh, boy, folks. What have we got here? There is our favorite star. Well, one of our favorite stars. There's David. David's going to do his job here. Thank you, David. Odin, where are you? Okay. Here we go. Ooh. Look at this. Nice. And we get the gig bag. Yes, indeed, folks. New guitar day here coming up at the channel. You know what I don't see? Where's my buddy? Where's my buddy Odin? Where is he? Hey, Odin, you gonna open the box with Daddy? Where are you, bud? There he is. Hi, Odin. What do we got? What do we got? Is it New Guitar Day? Is it New Guitar Day? Is it? Is it New Guitar Day? Here you go. What's that? What do we got? What do we got? What do we got? It's your favorite day, isn't it? Is it your favorite day? Yes, it's your favorite day. Yes, it is. Well, let me tell you a story about a cat named Odin. He's got big feet and his coat is kind of golden. Oh, and is it now yours? Is that yours now? Is that yours now, Mr. Ham? Is it yours now? It is? Is it all yours now? Is it your guitar? Guess so, huh? I guess so. All right. Let's get on with it. New Guitar Day here at the studio. Thank you for making your appearance, Odin. It's very nice of you. It was very nice of you. Say bye to everybody. Say bye-bye. Okay, well, I hope you enjoyed the B-roll. I know Odin did. Odin's a ham. He really, really likes New Guitar Day, folks, as I know I do. And, of course, I think if you're watching here, you do as well. But anyway, what guitar did we get? It's this guy right here. Yes. It's another tease. No, you don't see in the Double Mint Twins here, folks. I know they look very, very similar, but this is the 
SB series. That's the SBH limited series. Again, if you look at them side by side, you'd almost think you're looking at the Doubleman twins here. Doubleman, Doubleman. But this one is their standard equipped SB edition. Again, that wonderful silver burst finish. This is the SB series, and this is set up like a traditional telly. And the differences between these two, as you'll notice, this has got the dual single coils versus a single coil and hot rail humbucker in the bridge on the SBH. That's the main difference. Of course, it is wired slightly different as well because this has got 250K pots instead of the 500 pots with a 22 cap instead of a 47 cap on the tone, okay? The other differences are, this has standard tuners instead of the locking tuners that came with this. Of course, the pickup is pickup configuration is also different, like I mentioned. But other than that, they're basswood body guitars, string throughs, maple necks, just really, really nice. Now, I explained everything that I was finding out about T's guitars in the last review a couple of months ago when I got this one. I was new to them as well. And uh, they're putting out pretty much uh, Strat styles and Tele styles guitar currently at this point, but they're working on other things as well. They're a smaller company out of New York. Uh, you can find them at www.teesguitars.com. I will put up uh, a picture of their website. You can order them directly from Tees Guitars. And uh, for today's special, folks, which I was really surprised to hear as well, they're offering a coupon for our subscribers and people that are watching the channel here. Put Odin5 in the coupon code on their guitar site and you'll get another $5 off. That's pretty, pretty cool. Uh, tell them Odin sent you, all right? But anyway, this is the SB edition. Uh, your standard Tele 25.5 scale, 22 fret, medium jumbo frets, bone nut, maple neck, and just a wonderful, wonderful finish on these. So uh, we will do the up close and personal on this guitar, of course, like we always do. And then, uh, We'll go ahead and get some tone checks done. Let's check out the up close and personal. Okay, folks, so here we are with the up close and personal. This on the new Tees SB edition. This is their silver burst Tele style. Again, a little bit different from the last one I showed you a couple months ago, although the finish is the same and it is a Tele, but you can see this one's set up more as a traditional style Tele uh, with the three barrels in the saddle instead of the six saddles and of course the single coil in the bridge instead of the humbucker hot rail like the SBH was. This is also in that wonderful silver burst finish. Uh, your standard controls with volume and tone and a three-way switch on the side and you can see the finish on this just outstanding in this SB style silver burst. This is another basswood body uh, your standard 25.5 scale, 22 medium jumbo frets on a maple neck. Fret work is just beautiful on this. The neck is really, really nice. Your standard black dots going up that neck. And of course your T's headstock up there. This has got standard tuners on it. They're not locking tuners like the SBH. Bone nut. Of course, I will show you measurements at the nut and at the 12th fret. This is a 12 inch radius neck like the SBH is. Beautiful to be done on the neck pocket. Pocket is beautiful. Three ply pick guard. El Nico 5 pickups on this. And again, your standard three barrel bridge like a standard telly would be. I will go ahead and spin this around for you. Starting up here at the headstock. You can see I have not taken the plastic off the headstock yet. Standard tuners on there, a nicely done maple neck. Again, the, the backs of the necks are just a satin finish, so they feel really, really good. They're very fast.
is of course our string through on a basswood body. Now this one, when I took it out of the box, I felt that it was a bit heavier, and it is. I'll show you the weights on this. And in comparison to the SBH, they're both basswood bodies, exact same size guitar, so that'll just tell you, you know, the differences in density of wood. Not every guitar is going to come in the exact same weight, even in the same model. So this one's a slightly bit heavier, about a half a pound heavier. Let me go ahead and flip this back around. And you can see it here. I did talk about the, the T's logo and what that meant in the last review. Again, it's, uh, it's done like a, a child would write it, almost like with a crayon. This is the SB edition again. Very, very nice. Again, standard 25.5 scale. Just over eight pounds on this one. A little hefty. El Nico 5s. Again, the difference on this is the pots. This is, again, set up like a traditional telly. This has got 250K pots with a 22 cap instead of the 500K with a 47 cap like the SBH version. And the SB series silver burst telly from the good folks at T's Guitars. Okay, well, I hope you enjoyed the up close and personal. Hopefully, I covered all the things and the different specs on that. Uh, I did want to tell you that it does, again, it does come with a gig bag. It's not a heavy, heavy padded gig bag. Uh, a little bit lighter, of course, than the gig bag you'd get with, for instance, like the Monoprice. But it's not just a dust cover. It does have some padding to it, and it does serve its purpose, which is, is nice, additional. This, of course, came uh, a little bit different. Uh, when Torsten got a hold of me, he said, you know, Jimmy, we do pro setups of these guitars as well. What I didn't realize, I know they set them up uh, directly from the warehouse in the factory when they ship them to you, and it's double-checked at the warehouse. However, they do offer a pro setup on their website. If you go to Tease Guitars, you can request it. I think they charge like $40 for it. And guys, if you don't know how to set up your guitar or if you just would like to have it done by a pro, 40 bucks is, is pretty incredible. Uh, and this is exactly what they do. This is the check sheet that they sent with mine right here. Now, normally from the factory, you get a 175 to a 20 at the 12th fret between low E and high E in your, in your setup. Uh, I like mine a little bit lower, um, which I explained, and I always explain them when I do my reviews. I like the action a little bit lower, and I like using nines. So this is what they do. They do a check of the neck relief, they'll check the fret ends, they'll polish the frets, oil the board, oil the nut, set the intonation, string height and tune is oiled, check all the fasteners and do a QC pass of the entire guitar, plus put a set of strings on there at your request. Uh, in my case, I wanted the nines, they put a set of Ernie Ball nines on this, and they set my action for what I like to have, which is around 1.50 on the low E, and 1.25 on the high E. I don't like it too, too low. I like a little bit of bounce to it. I like to get up underneath those strings and bend them. Uh, but I like it fairly low, but not real low. I know that some people really want to set it down. So they did an actual uh, uh, pro setup for me for my guitar here and sent me the check sheet with it. Uh, and of course, you get your obligatory uh, hex keys to adjust your truss rod and to adjust the bridge and they actually sent a, it's like a fret eraser. It is, in case you need to hit those ends of the frets. This one's absolutely perfect. Nothing needs to be done. And of course, the uh, card from Torsten and their phone number and all that stuff. So again, a very, very nice job. We're going to double check. It feels absolutely wonderful. Again, I just took this out of the box last night, uh, let it acclimate with new strings and all that kind of stuff. And it was very cold, and it's cold again today. It's supposed to warm up a little bit. But uh, so I wanted to let it set a little bit before I did that review. I'm going to go ahead and put this case over here. And we will check out some tones on the new SB edition. Uh, more of their traditional Tele style in the silver burst finish. Very, very nice. Let's check this action though while I have it out. See how close. Uh, that pro setup is. Again, for 40 bucks, guys, you can't go anywhere that I know, not even around here, and uh, have a pro setup done. 
you know, you could you could go to like Guitar Center or something like that, and I wouldn't trust those guys as far as I could throw them. Never mind setting up a guitar. But uh, you, they're not going to do it for 40 bucks, that's for sure. So let's check out what our action is here on the 12th fret low E. 1.50, exactly what I asked for. And on the high E, 1.25, exactly what I asked for. So spot on. Great job, Tease. Great job, Torsten. Again, it's been setting overnight. I'm going to go to a clean patch on the mono price 15, which is what I usually do when I do my reviews, and a uh, Celestion V30 112 cabinet over there. And I'm going to go to a clean patch and uh, see what we got here. Again, standard telly, volume and tone with a three-way switch here. Everything feels great on these volume and tone pots. Again, the difference between this one and the SBH edition, that has got 500K tone pots with a 47 cap on the tone. This has got single coils, Elnico 5s, with 250K pots and a 22 cap. So it should be a little bit brighter, more twangier, more telly kind of sounding, I would think. So here we go, we're in the middle position here. <laughs> Very nice bridge. It's got some bite and twang and up to the neck. That's nice. Which feels really, really good. Pots feel fine, no scratching.
very nice. Difference in the pickups, the starkness between the neck and the bridge is beautiful. Some really, really nice tones here. difference is pretty amazing. That's cool. Intonation on this feels really, really good. Sounds good. little intonation thing here. Very, very nice. Let's put a little, little snot on it here and see if we got anything. Yeah, the SB Telly, very, very nice, man. It sounds great.
Very, very nice. Thumbs up to Torsten. All the folks at Tease Guitars, this is very nice. The neck is wonderful. Frets are spot on. There is no sharpness. Everything feels very, very good. Again, this was done with a pro setup for me. Thank you so very much. It's set to how I like it, and it's spot on. Absolutely spot on. So I can't complain with that at all. Again, folks, go to teasguitars.com. Check out what they have to offer there and tell them that Jimmy sent you. In fact, tell them Odin sent you. Put in the Odin5, O-D-I-N-5 code, and you'll save an additional $5 off the order. So that's very, very cool. I do appreciate that. Thanks so much to all the subscribers, everybody that's come on over to the channel. Folks, if you're new to the channel and haven't subscribed, want to see more of what's going on here as we explore more and more guitars this year in 2024. That's right. Come on over to the good side. We would love to have you on board. Folks, until next time, it's Jimmy Stewart saying so long. Take care of yourselves. Please stay safe. Please stay healthy. Be kind to each other. And we'll talk to you all again very, very soon. Bye-bye for now. Mm -hmm.